What if this isn't actually even capitalism anymore, it's something worse that superseded it, history moved on, all that is solid melts into air, all that is sacred is profane. One of the things that uh, over the last 30 years has really accelerated is the commodification of information. And you could think about that as the absorbing of, of information as you know something we've really only had a concept of since the 40s. You could think of it as the absorbing of that information into the commodity form. And an example of that would be most people use Google or Bing or something like that. And it seems like you get this little bit of information for free, right? But if you get something for free, it basically means you're the product. Yeah, that's, you know, we've known this in media studies since the broadcast era. So how are you the product? And it's like, well, every little bit of information you get, you're giving all of this information in exchange for it that Google or Apple or whoever gets to own in the aggregate and instrumentalize over and against you. So to what extent is that a, a different model of exploitation based on information asymmetry? What if those who uh, produce information are not workers? I call them hackers and it's a word that maybe I uh, didn't date that well, so call it what you like, but let's think of different ways of describing what it means to be someone who produces information but doesn't own or control it because that's what most people I know do in a metropolitan city, yeah? That's what most labor is that isn't maintenance and service work. So well then who ends up owning and controlling all that information? So I, I called that ruling class the vectorless class in the sense that it's ownership and control of the vector of information. It's storage, it's logistics, uh, it's brands, it's copyrights. Uh, you don't need to own the means of production anymore to be a ruling class. And that strikes me as really quite particular. So Apple Corporation doesn't make phones, like it doesn't. You know, that's all made by outsourced to firms elsewhere. So what does it mean to be able to control through the vector the whole value chain? That seems to me to be the question to ask.